Hello, in this scenario we will show you how to integrate Adobe Analytics with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Let's begin by looking at Adobe Analytics to see what data is available. From here we can access the complete data suite that's available inside of Analytics. Switching to Dynamics, we have a generic implementation of Dynamics and we can drill down into any data set that's available, including accounts. Switching over to Put It Forward's Administration Console, let's quickly look for existing Adobe Analytics or Microsoft Dynamics integrations. We have a shell of one that's been partially configured. Let's tune it to get it to where we want it to be. It's already set up to run in real time, and let's add a notification on error to notify us if there is a problem. Opening up the Visual Designer, we can see that the endpoints have been partially configured, but the data mapping hasn't been set up yet. Choosing Adobe Analytics as the source endpoint, let's go in and set some properties. The end user permissions that you use to log into Adobe Analytics with are the same ones that we use at the API level. Now we're going to be selecting from page views and visits in this scenario. This can return up to hundreds of fields that we may want to be able to integrate with. Using the configuration-based approach of Put It Forward, it simply is a matter of clicking and selecting which uh, fields that you would like to have added to the integration. Scrolling up and down, you can see everything that you have available, but let's just check a couple of random ones here that will make sense to this particular integration. Hit Save and make them available in the data mapping editor. We can also control how granular we get with the data in terms of the frequency to select it from. Using the lookup features and put it forward, we can determine that we're only going to take data from the last uh, few days and since the previous execution. Now let's switch over and configure the Microsoft Dynamics CRM endpoint. Using the same application selection engine, we go in and log into Dynamics. The user permissions in Dynamics drive what objects we have access to. Here we're going to select Campaign. And since there isn't a natural mapping for some of the fields from analytics into dynamics, we're going to quickly add a custom field to deal with IP address in this scenario. Additionally, an interesting feature inside of Put It Forward is the ability to add a unique field. So this allows you to essentially create a, a key identifier, which is non-standard. Now let's step back into the designer and begin the mapping process. So we'll use the visual designer here to quickly map IP address to IP address. And additionally, we'll show you how to use the columnar approach. Now there's an engine that sits underneath this, which will do intelligent mapping. But for the purpose of today, we're going to go a little quicker and just quickly click back and forth. This has the same effect as the uh, visual mapper that we saw in the previous screen. Now we're going to close it, save it, and go back to the designer screen. Now that we've completed the mapping, let's ensure that we save the actual integration itself. If this was a live integration and you had added these new fields on the fly, these new fields would be completed and your integration would be done. The next step in this process is to add business rules or transformations or validate the integration itself. Thank you for taking the time to see how to integrate Adobe Analytics into Microsoft Dynamics by Put It Forward.